This week's video is a studio vlog, uh, part two. Um, uh, it's kind of a studio vlog and it's kind of, is more so a, my first week at, at my new online art school that I'm attending now. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I went to SCAD before and, uh, I went there on campus and it was just too much for me. I took off. A year last year because of my anxiety and my depression got really bad so um, yeah I decided to do school online this year which is kind of perfect because everything's online this year anyway so yep that's what I'm doing in this vlog mostly um, right now I'm just making a smoothie I make a smoothie every morning um, I mainly put uh, strawberries and bananas and hemp seeds, uh, yogurt for my digestion because of the probiotics, and then um, a little bit of milk so it blends easy. I use uh, soy milk, the vanilla one by Silk, and then yeah, I use it in that tiny blender I have. I just blend everything up, and I usually have that. Um, also, I usually have a croissant in the morning, but yeah, just something else to fill my stomach. That's a solid, not just a liquid. Um, I went to Joanne's a cup I think the week before I started school um, I got a couple stuff I got a roller to roll my clay out acrylic roller um, I got some crochet embroidery um, thread um, what's it called thread yeah yes yeah embroidery thread to uh, make my turtle in turtle patch that I wanted to do to put on my I don't know if I'm gonna put on a hoodie on a plain hoodie that I have or I have a plain green hoodie or um, a shirt so I have to figure that out um, I bought a sponge a little sponge to do like an ombre thing on my clay when I make uh, clay pins and stuff like that and I, and I bought brushes I think I bought more brushes I bought nicer brushes so for my um for my clay pins because usually the ones I was using before was for um was from um, Amazon and um, I just want to buy higher quality brushes. This was me getting ready to start preparing. Um, I bought acrylic gouache. I got inspired by Am I Am Wonder here on YouTube. Um, I don't know, she was on my recommended and I watched her and Ever since then, I've been addicted to her videos. I've been watching her like crazy. Um, I don't know. I, I usually don't like painting. And I don't. Because it's so hard. I don't know why that medium is just so hard for me. Paint in general. It doesn't matter what paint. Acrylic, watercolor, gouache. It's so hard. It's not It's not easy to maneuver it like a color pencil or a marker or you know an iPad pencil is. So that's why it's a little harder for me i think so um also mixing colors is just annoying um i just would like to pick up a color and just know what color i need and then pick it up and then just color in what i need to with that color i don't it's hard for me it's not hard for me to mix colors i don't mind mixing colors but it just time is just time consuming and i'm an aries and i'm impatient and i don't have time to always want to mix colors and sit there all day but anyway Um, I turned on a studio vlog. I can't remember who I'm watching here. I think it's Apple Cheeks here on YouTube also while I start sketching out my um, Sketching out the drawing that I want to paint with acrylic gouache uh, Yeah, I love watching her uh, usually I watch her think sex you studio vlog or furry little peach um, Sean I don't know if I know her last name, but Sean, she's also really good. I love her channel. Um, Paloma the Peach, she's also really, really, really cool. She's one that inspired me to start making like clay pins and stuff like that. Um, I haven't sold any yet, but that's my goal one day.
So I'm just looking for a reference photo. Um, I usually, before I want to get started with anything, I always look for a reference photo. Um, I used to not, and then my anatomy, if I show you guys my old drawings, my head used to be extra big and the body used to be extra small, and none of my anatomy was right. That was before I went to college and actually had, you know, proper learning and proper anatomy classes and how to draw the human body and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, so now every time I want to draw, I use, you know, Pinterest. You guys see that in my, all the, literally all my videos I post, they usually they're, they're inspired by a Pinterest drawing, a, a Pinterest photo of some sort. But, uh, yeah, I found this girl. I loved her glasses that she had on and I loved the braids. So I wanted to try to do that. Um, but I think the drawing turned out pretty Okay, I don't know if her head's too small. I think it is. I don't know if I fixed it or not. But yeah, her head was too small. Now that I'm seeing it. Um, I think it turned out, the drawing eventually turned out really well. I didn't mind the drawing. The painting part is where everything starts to fall apart. Like, I don't know why it's so hard for me to use that medium of paint in general. I was like, oh, I love how the acrylic gouache looks. And I loved when I am... I am wonder was using it and how it would finish off the, the finished look of it was just so nice so <laughs> I wish I could achieve that but I mean maybe I just need to practice a little bit more I don't know I ordered new brushes off of Amazon along with the jelly gouache that I watched I Am Wonder try out on her channel. And I could not wait for this to come in. 
I loved how it looked when she painted with it and oh my gosh I was so excited to start um I couldn't wait to paint because I haven't painted in so long I usually don't paint you know because I'm bad at it and I just don't give it the time or day or anymore to even try but uh, I was really excited I unpacked everything out of the box and then I took it out and rearranged it in a order like she did on her channel that I would like um then I started um, peeling the, the, each of them had was individually wrapped. So I started peeling off the top of them and then placing them into the blue, the, it's like, it's like a mint color uh, tray that they gave me. But it was so satisfying taking off each and every one of those plastic tops because the inside with the paint looks so, so cool. I loved it. Looked, I mean, it's called jelly gouache for a reason. It looked like jelly. Here's a little speed peel, I guess, of all the paints I uh, uncovered. Um, I love this. I don't know why I'm so dazed by this time lapse, but it turned out really nice. Um, yeah, anyway, um, next was me paint mixing paint. Um, I took color theory in college, so it was not too hard for me, but I don't know why it was so hard. I don't know if it's because I just haven't mixed paint in a while or had to mix any colors in a while so this was hard for me i don't know why i couldn't get like the perfect skin color and then jelly gouache is hard because they're not in tubes so you can't really when you have to pick up a color out of its um out of its little compartment and try to put it into a bigger into the palette and then try to mix it with other stuff it was hard because you don't want to contaminate another color by mixing colors because of the compartments it's not like if it was a tubed um paint set then it would have been easier but it's not they're all open and then you can't just like squeeze out how much you want you had to actually use a paintbrush and dig out each color so i would have to wash the brushes each time i wanted to take a little bit of a color out and put in the palette and mix it in so that was the only well, that was like a big thing that I hated about it. So that was, I didn't realize that until I actually got to it. I know that I am understood that in her video, but I was like, it shouldn't be too bad. But once I actually got to do it, it was, it was a little annoying. I'd rather have a two paint, a tube of paint instead of having little compartments for it all separated. I like the first base color I got. Um, I did go a little, I think I went a little too, um, heavy. I know, um, I am under said in her video that you should go make sure the gouache, the first layer of gouache is really, uh, thin and, um, watered down. And, um, I feel like I could have done that a little bit more. I think it was just a little too, oh, it was actually really opaque still. Um, so yeah, I think that was my first, I think that was the first problem that went down with this 
painting I tried. Um, I think I did a better job with a thinner layer of um, paint on her hair. Um, I tried to do something I see I Am Wonder doing also, of where she doesn't really use the color black. She uses colors that are close to it, like violets and blues. So I tried, um, even though her, her hair color in the photo, reference photo, was black, I tried to use a blue, a dark blue, to um, not have to go to uh, a black. I remember learning something about that also in art school. You know, if you don't have to use black, um, it's, it creates for more of a dynamic and more contrast in the picture. So, in the drawing. So, um, I tried that out. Uh, I got hungry. So, um, I think my brother ordered something that day and he didn't order me anything. He didn't even say anything. I just went to the door. I heard a knock on the door and um, Postmates was there. So, I was like, oh, okay. So, you ordered food without me. Now, I'm hungry. So, I ordered some Taco Mac. And this clip, it was nighttime. Um, I was about to start a um, start watching um, a movie because for my cinematics for animation and vis effects class, I had to watch a movie and then write an essay on three or to four different um, formats, I guess, of a movie. Like um, what the script, what was the movie about, the story, um, the technique that was used in the movie the sounds how the sound affected the movies things like that so um you had to do it on your favorite movie i love the transformers series all of them no matter what which one i mean there's some i love them all but i love more than others but yeah um the second one is definitely my favorite the fourth one is my second the fifth one is my third the first one was okay i don't
Um, it this week was pretty easy. Um, it was my first week, so we didn't have too many things to do. Um, a lot of it was just reading the syllabus, understanding the return in rules, how grading policy was gonna work, things like that. And so that was that took no time to really read over. Um, we had a lot of intro discussion questions for each class to do. I did those. Um, yeah, um, basically that was it. And um, except for that essay, um, for my fundament, my form, my analysis of form class. Um, which is a fundamental class um which i don't know why i have to take it because i, I did my discussion the same post class for a class i don't know which one i did called for which drawing, class but form is based i did that and i try to finish up any other uh, so i don't have know. for any other classes and i really first. i literally read the, the description uh, essay was going to take me some time to teach me i mean it usually take me too long especially for something i like writing about from that or first class I took, about the topic, so which, I'm confused. Um, I, I was. My men- so it was pretty it, easy for me to, to something else. get a quick, uh, quick what else would that three go paragraphs down. down. So I don't know. Um, I don't want to take that class again. I don't want to play with charcoal again. I mean, I'm not bad with charcoal. Um, format, so it's just a very messy I think I thing to mess with. Especially since I'm at home this year. I don't have a studio to go to like I did at SCAD. So I don't know. But yeah, I had extra time. So after it was this, okay at the end of this week it was better in three days in it, but that's okay i won't get into three that. days oh um, again <laughs> i would say anyway and then the rest of the week i didn't really have too much to do so i worked on animating this if you guys you guys might recognize her from being my profile picture on here on youtube but this little glitch girl um i'm also making charms of her it's taking a while to get here though but um yeah i try to animate her um in tune boom Harmony, I've been trying to play around in that um, software a lot more because I'm trying to, you know, I, I keep dreaming about making my own animation, but I'm not really doing anything, and it's hard to learn Toon Boom without just get just going, just jumping forward and just trying to learn the part, um, the software yourself. Because I've read a lot of stuff on how to use it, I watch a lot of videos, a lot of stuff don't click, but in, and a lot of stuff do, and it's just it's just a hard software to really learn if you don't have somebody there teaching you so that's the main reason why i went back to school i didn't really feel and then also my mom and my aunt really wanted me to get a degree but so yeah i just want to start working on making my own animations and stuff like that i practically done turnarounds for all my characters um you guys know of them um the ones i've drawn on my channel i did a video drawing aurora and grandora and i just want to make their animations already and just be able to rig them and stuff like that i don't know if you guys understanding this information but yeah that's my goal um yeah so thank you guys for watching another week in my life practically that's what this should be called um it's not it's kind of it's kind of scattered around but you know you guys get the gist i all i really do is draw animate and go to school now so and record videos and edit videos so that is about it um also if you guys i don't really advertise it um i have a store on my website if you guys want to buy clay pins for me um or if you guys want any commissions done um i love to do them for you um just reach out to me on any of my social media platforms i leave them all in the description box um, but yeah, uh, just reach out to me, DM me, or you could just order anything off of my, my website. I have uh, shelldraws.com, simple. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for another week. Um, thank you guys for 27 subscribers. So much for the support and following me on this journey. I want to really post an animation for you guys. I'm really trying to start. I want to get this glitch girl done. And maybe I could post a little animation of her on to hold you guys over until I could actually do something with my main character, Laura, and her story. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys. And, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day. Comment, like, subscribe if you're not. Thank you.